Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. Hello from these beautiful mangoes as well. As always, you guys know the drill. I'm going to take you Monday all the way through to Sunday and show you quite a lot of what I get up to. But obviously, I can't show you every single thing. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this weekly vlog. Give it a like if you enjoy these videos. And yeah, we're just going to power on with our Monday. So I have a deadline coming up. So that was my focus. But one of the best things about the UK right now is that spring is finally coming. Okay, um, it's Monday evening and I just had a shower, that's why I'm in my pyjamas. I, um, feel like a little spot came up on my forehead. Yeah, kind of did. There are a few things on my mind for this week. So firstly, in terms of uni stuff, I have a deadline coming up next Monday, so a week today. So yeah, that is my three short answer questions that I spoke to you about in my last weekly vlog. I need to have like a financial meeting, which is semi-ish important. I should work on this like secret kind of project thing. But yeah, I have my weekly plan though, as usual. That is what I'm looking at right now. We have videos to film, like my book challenge. I have to edit videos and stuff like that. But yeah, my main focus this week is my assessment. Then we have an exam coming up after that, but we're not going to talk about that for now. Okay, so happy Tuesday. I started my day as usual doing some admin and then I uploaded a video and had to make the thumbnail that morning as well. As part of my workout that morning, I did quite an intense set of abs and I have recently been incorporating weights into my abs and honestly, it makes a huge difference to the way I feel my abdominal muscles when I do these exercises. We obviously cannot forget about my yoga ball, which yes, just floats around randomly in my room. But again, for ab exercises, it really does change the game. So yeah, those were just some of the exercises I did and obviously I stretched out afterwards because we felt the burn today. It is Tuesday morning. Morning. Hello. I'm just gonna be freezing some bananas because I currently have none. I basically realized this morning that we don't have a tutorial today, which kind of does mean that it is our reading week. I thought we didn't have reading weeks as like postgrads or master's students, but this week it doesn't look like we have any like live sessions. There's an optional lecture or something this morning, but I'm just gonna watch the recording because yeah anyway we have bananas that is a decent amount for now this is a sign that we use in our kitchen that says dishwasher on because i am normally the culprit of opening the dishwasher when it's on like it's kind of a built-in dishwasher so you can't see when it's on you can feel it's warm but i often just like open it and mum gets really annoyed dishwasher on exclamation mark um anyway i need a b12 not those these yes i'm so annoyed about my tongue yesterday and it's so painful it's not like the worst but it is burnt if you are vegan in particular or even if you're veggie or plant-based or anyone in general really just make sure you get enough b12 there are loads of foods and stuff as well that are fortified like this is fortified with b12 for example this soy milk from audi um excuse me can i try and get all three of my assignments under 700 words today that is the question Ooh. Perfect amount. Oi, don't push it over. You come to distract me, huh? I know your games. Come and sit. Good girl. Okay, so Milka failed to sit still, but I was attempting, and I stress attempting, to not really attend to her distracting me and try and read through my SAQs. Oh, Minnie, come and sit down, please. Oh my god, this cat. No, why can't you just sit still? She clearly did not get the point. She just kept moving around. But anyway, I did manage to read through my short answer questions and, you know, work on cutting them down to get them under that word limit. I have one that is under the word limit. SAQ3, this is the one on smoking. It is currently 769 words. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one and go on to another. Actually, I need to finish some references in this. So it might actually push up the word count again, but it's like very much in the region that it needs to be in. So I am going to leave that one, go to another one. SAQ 2 now, let's do. And then I'll go back to SAQ 1 because it's the first one on um, 
uh, screening policies is the longest at the moment. So this is for my behavioral science and cancer module if you were a bit confused. And as I said, I have three short answer questions. The first was on colorectal cancer screening. The second was then on diet or physical activity and cancer survivorship. And then the final one was on tobacco control. But yeah, anyway, later that morning, I then also had to prepare for tutoring, which I had coming up on the next day. Good news, very good news in fact, all three of my short answer questions, SAQs, are under the word limit, under 770. And so this evening, because I had that done, I could do some editing, so I just feel very on it right now. That is the good news. The bad news um, is this. So you probably can't see on the camera right now, but it looks like a very angry spot. I... Don't lie to me. Don't tell me you've never squeezed a spot when you know you really shouldn't. Because right now that's what I'm gonna do. I know I really shouldn't squeeze this, but I feel like it could be quite satisfying. So, I'm just gonna do it. I'm sorry, you're just gonna catch me complicit in the crime. Oh my gosh, that was so good. That just had to come out. And I'm sure it's a lot happier that way. This is me just trying to justify why I did this. And um, hello. Oh, hi, dude. I just squeezed his butt. You have his butt? Yeah, I have his butt. Oh, nice. Should I really have squeezed it? No, but I mean, I do it all the time. Oh, yeah, exactly. Actually, you need to use the toilet. Oh, you need to use the toilet. Sorry, right? I think I'm done here. Emily's on her last day of Aquitaine tomorrow. tomorrow. Day, yeah. Do you want to tell everyone? Emily's excited. I'm fed up wearing dry eyes and eczema patches. Yeah, Emily's been on Aquitaine, if you didn't know. Seven months. Seven months. Yeah, so if they want to see, you know, like subtle plug. I mean, if you want to see how I got this beautiful skin. No. Uh, Emily has a whole playlist. Accutane series, Accutane series playlist on her channel. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm done here. I'm gone now. Adios. Adios, amigos. Good morning. It's Wednesday. The spot that I squeezed yesterday, right here in the middle of my forehead, it looks so much better than yesterday, right? Uh, yeah, like it's basically invisible now just thought i'd give you a little spot update so yeah um i just wanted to say good morning does anyone wear their dressing gown as if it's a cape or is it just me i don't know but anyway side note let's not get distracted i had tutoring that day as i said the previous day so that was an hour session it was from 2 to 3 p.m and then i did some editing so this was my valentine's day vlog which is already on my channel and then i went back to my assessment so yeah i always find that there is more i can read into so essentially here i was looking back over some of the lectures that we had that were relevant to the short answer questions hi why does my hair look like this I look like a shaggy dog. Um, in terms of how long my hair is right now, it's this long, as you can see. Why is dad playing the trombone at this time in the morning? Why? He plays in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. It's just endless, this trombone playing. You hear a bit of it in my vlogs. You don't hear the full thing. It's uh, yeah, it's just endless. It just doesn't stop. So yeah, I was editing a video. I just uploaded a video this morning. All of my short answer questions are now below 770 words or bang on. Most of them are bang on 770 words. But I did bring this up in our last journal club because we were asked about, you know, the assessment, how we felt about it. I just said, you know, like 700 words is nothing and that 700 words includes like subheadings which i'm not using because there's just not enough words to use subheadings it doesn't include like the title or your references in like the bibliography at the end but it includes all of your in-text references and they have to be written out with like the authors so you've got somebody's name et al and the date so that takes up about four words sometimes you have multiple authors written out depending on the reference and it's it's just like it's just not enough like not enough and they're supposed to be short answer questions i get that but the questions themselves are not very narrow they are incredibly broad questions like you could write whole dissertations on these topics because there is so much literature out there there are so many papers on these topics and they're just so broad you have to like 
narrow down the title for yourself you kind of have to find a way to turn a really broad question into something that is quite concise and like focused and only 700 words it's hard but like i've managed to do it and i'm just going over my answers now and i've chosen oh hi alexa what do you want <sighs> there's a delivery mini did you mini how do i think with the center part oh. yeah, nice of the center part nice what do you want me to say? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her little face. <laughs> so get off me. What's your plan for the day? Oh, sorry. Is it too much? She looks really angry right now. I feel like I should leave her in peace. The thing is with cats, right? You cannot come to them to give them attention. They have to come to you. They have to want the attention and then you can give them all the attention that they want. It's not the other way around. You see how she's angry right now? That's because I came to her. You have to know the cat language. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk away now. I'm gonna slide away like a seal because you don't want attention right now. Goodbye for now. Okay, so you may recognize this video, which is already on my channel. This was my book challenge. So I basically read books most of the day, the new books that I ordered for 2021. However, I did manage to fit in a bit more work. So you guessed it, I was reading through my short answer questions again. Then jumping to Friday, if you remember at the start of the week, I said that there was an optional lecture. And so this was me just going through the recording and writing up my lecture notes from the slides and everything. So I did that first thing in the morning to get it done because the recording had been released on Moodle. Often there is a bit of a delay. That took me about an hour and a half to do. And then I just wanted to organize my folder because I had some loose sheets floating around in my drawer so I did that before I then got ready to go on a run that morning and when I got back I made sure that I rolled out and included my foot in that I know it looks strange to do this rolling out your foot but trust me it really has helped me since I injured it and then I essentially got back to doing some work on my secret project which I can't share anything of yet but I had to make some phone calls thank you bye on Friday, we usually get our work set for the following week. And when that happens, I like to plan my next week in my bullet journal, as I always do. But I have recently been starting to make a few templates in advance in my bullet journal. So that was that. And then a bit later that day, I actually got started with some of the lectures that were already released on Moodle. Also, random question of the day. What is your favorite plant milk? Do you like almond? Do you like soy, oat? My answer is almond milk and it has to be almond breeze. It is the best thing okay so i know i'm still wearing my big red jacket yes but trust me the temperatures are increasing in the uk and i will be taking it off hopefully soon but anyway later that evening i felt so good and this put me in like the best mood because i was just doing some dance in my room you know i've recently been talking about getting back into dance obviously we're still in a global pandemic we're in lockdown so classes are not a thing and i don't know when they will be in the future so i have resorted to the wonders of the internet and this is just the start i mean i was just doing some random contemporary exercises that i found online on youtube actually but i am going to be looking for some online classes official online classes so if you do have any suggestions feel free to let me know down below Ooh, this music Love a bit of jazz music. Why am I ears so red? Because I'm hot. This space is just not big enough. I keep whacking everything. I'm worried about hitting my toes on boxes and... But yeah, I um, am determined this year. 2021, I'm gonna get back into dance because I miss it so much. It's reached that point when I'm just like, Holly, you need to just, you know, try some online classes. But other than dancing today in a very small space in my room this evening, what else have we done today? I did lectures this morning because our immunology lectures were released on Friday. So I got all of the series that I could do done. I edited my book video so that I can go live tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just gonna look over my SAQs now. I think it's the last thing I kind of do today. I mean, I could submit them today or I could have submitted them today, but I will probably work on them again tomorrow because I don't know, I just feel like I need to submit as close to the deadline as possible. Is that just me or does anyone else feel the same way? 
but yeah that is what i did today was going to make pancakes today because it was pancake day on tuesday but i am never on it with these things you can have pancakes whenever you want but i make like the pancakes for official pancake day never on the day itself i'm always late i had like a protein not even a protein shake i just added some protein powder and some stuff and it was nice there isn't any left but yeah those are my saturday updates for you don't know what this hand is doing. Okay, once I'd cooled down a bit, I sat back at my desk and again was just reading through my short answer questions, just checking my references essentially because sometimes I like to double check that I've written and quoted figures correctly. Finally, as always, the last thing I did that day was read in bed and so we're gonna jump to Sunday, the most exciting day because I made my favorite things in the entire world, my pancakes. I mean, you can have many favorites in life, Come on, but these are definitely top of my list somewhere. And then I, yes, did get carried away flipping the pancakes. <gasps> oh, it went on the floor. Um, there's a thing called a three second rule, right? But anyway, I usually stack my pancakes, but today I made them quite a lot smaller. So I had like so many pancakes and it was just the best thing. And so I spread them out on a plate instead. And yeah, I said there's a three second rule, right? Anyway, moving on. So I usually make a sauce kind of thing. And that sauce is just with like the leftover batter, but oh my gosh, if you're not drooling at the screen right now, I don't know what I can do to help you. Seriously, these were so good and I was very impressed with the aesthetic. But anyway, after that, I then just had to submit my assignment. Yes! I am finally submitting this assessment. I have to concentrate because I have to submit each question to a different link because they're being marked by different people, so... I'm so worried I'm gonna do this wrong and submit them to the wrong links, but... Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, have I done it? Yes! We have submitted everything, all three of them. Oh my gosh, that's the module complete. Our overall grade for this module, Behavioral Science and Cancer, comes from these three SAQs, three questions of 700 words. Literally, that is the craziest thing about this module and this assessment. And that just doesn't feel like enough. Like it really doesn't. But there's nothing I can do. I've done it now, I've submitted them. Let's just backtrack a bit. I said to you guys, I was gonna make pancakes today and we made pancakes today. It was my waterfall pancakes recipe, which is on my website. Honestly, if you have not tried them, please try them. I guarantee you, you will have the three ingredients in your house that like you don't even need cinnamon. And oh, they were just so good. I normally stack them up, but I made them smaller today. It was so good. I think we start a new module tomorrow. So that will be a new week, new weekly vlog, you know. But yeah, I think we start a new module tomorrow and then we continue with immunology. But yeah, I will end this video here, I feel, because, you know, it's Sunday evening. As usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell, everything, the usuals. And I will speak to you, as always, very soon in another video. Bye!